News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. The U.S. Surgeon General says social media is causing serious harm to kids. Dr. Megan Jones-Bell focuses on mental health at Google and has more on what parents can do to help. Get the data, know how much time they're spending online, understand what they are consuming, sit side by side with them, help them learn the skill of self-reflection. When you watch X video, how does that make you feel? What do you think about? But it's not all on parents. In fact, the Surgeon General is now calling on tech companies to do more to protect kids. On Capitol Hill, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he's working with the White House to seal a deal on debt, but they're still at odds. This is a time where we should be paying off the credit card instead of when we're making more money, you should pay that credit card off. What did the Democrats do? They start spending more money. That's the behavior you have to try. Are you talking about avoid the fall? You see what I mean? Talks are running closer to that June 1st deadline. A 19-year-old driver has been arrested for crashing a U-Haul truck into security barriers near the White House. CBS's Nicole D'Antonio has details there. Video of the aftermath appears to show officers collecting evidence, including a Nazi flag. The U.S. Park Police say a preliminary investigation indicates the 19-year-old driver intentionally crashed into the barriers. He's facing multiple charges. He'd also made threats in statements about the president and vice president. Former President Trump will stand trial again next March. CBS's Matt Piper explains why. A frustrated-looking Trump appeared in a New York court via video link to also be informed by a judge that he cannot post certain evidence in his criminal case on social media. Trump shook his head when the judge said that he could be held in contempt of court if he violated the order. He has denied the 34 counts of falsifying business records to cover up alleged hush money paid to Stormy Daniels in 2016. The war in Ukraine has now spilled across the Russian border. James Landells with the BBC. What we know is that a group of armed men crossed from northeast Ukraine into Russia. The Kremlin calls them Ukrainian saboteurs. The intelligence department here in Kyiv says no, they were Russian paramilitaries, partisans who are opposed to Vladimir Putin. Flying with kids just got a little easier. TSA says it's allowing kids up to 17 to use pre-check lanes if parents have pre-check too. Teens won't need it unless they're flying alone. Buffett's out of the hospital now and recovering from an undisclosed issue. He told fans on social media that he plans to get in shape and back on stage very soon. For now, he's going fishing. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.